is up guys i'm back with another video hope you guys are having a wonderful day guys today i have a very exciting video for you guys today today i'm going to be showing you asop gsi android 12 guys whoever don't know what asop is it's pretty much the standard gsi which everything originates from and it's perfectly stock everything works go we'll play lock screen guys there's no bugs um i did fix the lock screen bugs for you guys so you now you can put a password but i would have to release a zip file guys which i'll release very soon with the tutorial of this video so stay tuned for that so anyways i'm just going to show you that everything does work guys everything does work perfectly there is no issues everything is top notch um again it's not going to be like the coronavirus gsi we saw if you guys haven't seen i'll link it at the end of this video if you guys would be interested in seeing that video it's the most customizable gsi again guys this is for people who really like the stock version of android there's not many customizable features it's really stock really fast and it's honestly one of the best smoothest gsi i have tested on the center 18 which has everything working guys everything does work as you can see i'm just customizing some options for you guys to show like how does it change you can change the icon size the font um the icon shape the accent color a lot of things guys so yeah guys as we're going through the gsis right now guys i just want to tell you guys about my next upcoming projects so one ui 4.0 is in the works guys i did get it to boot but it has too many bugs to make it an official release so it just might take me a little bit longer to release one ui 4.0 but when it does get released guys i'll let you guys know but it definitely will get released in the near future guys for you guys Um, so basically one ui 4.0 guys for you guys know it's android 12 version of the samsung one ui it has right now the rom the rom the gsi no actually it's a rom the rom that i'm actually making one ui 4.0 it's actually works pretty well but again i say it has too many bugs it will take me some time maybe mid june i'll be able to release it for you guys so guys stay tuned for that and i'll also be making a new kernel for the android 12 as of right now quantum quack is outdated guys i don't know why they're not releasing new version that's why i've been working on a new kernel i'll be calling it the uh, i think i don't know what to call it guys um i think i'm just gonna call it a7 kernel 3.0 so it's like above their one so no one gets confused but honestly it's one of the best kernels guys it will be released very shortly in july 15. so yeah guys as i was saying the kernel will be released in july 15 so stay tuned for that video and one ui 4.0 hope you guys are really excited for that video guys um I, I know i am i've been working on it for months and months and i hope you guys really do enjoy that video one ui 4.0 is nearly here guys so guys make sure you guys subscribe Hit that notification bar so you guys don't miss the video when it does come out. But also, um, guys, comment down below on what else video you guys want to see um, in the upcoming days. I'm open to ideas, guys, as usual. I always like you guys' input. I know right now we're facing the problem that after you do flash an Android 12 GSI, it does not boot into 12. I know that's an issue, guys. We are trying to make... a. Uh, we, I mean, I'm trying to make a workaround on how to fix that issue, which should be fixed very soon, guys. Also, I believe I'm just going to um, release everything on July 15, guys. I mean, June 15, sorry. So stay tuned for that video. It's going to be a crazy day, June 15, guys. But anyways, guys, um, I'm looking into making more content on other phones as i said in the previous videos i know most of you guys still use a7 2018 but i have to move on guys sooner than later so i think after the july 15 it's time to put an end to the a7 2018 content unfortunately and put some new content out there for you guys 
I think I'm gonna start making more Stardew Valley videos. I believe I'm just gonna release a Stardew Valley video tomorrow. And after this video gets 150 views, I'll release the tutorial for this GSI guys, the ASOP GSI for A7018. But guys, um, also guys, also comment down below if you guys would like to see a new G cam release for the A7018, because I do have a new G cam waiting for you guys, updated to the latest G cam version for the A7018. So if you guys would be interested in making, uh, seeing a video on the Gcam as of right now, please comment down below and I'll release it as soon as I can. Maybe tomorrow I'll release it for you guys. So yeah guys, I mean, um, the ASOP GSI as I was saying, it's very stock. It doesn't have a lot of customization features, but it does have a lot of standard features that work very, very well. Um, again, it still has bugs with the lock screen and other stuff, but I'm working on a fix right now for you guys. You guys don't have to worry about that. But other than that guys, it's very smooth. But if you guys are looking for a customizable GSI where you can customize everything, I wouldn't really recommend this GSI. I recommend Chronovis GSI as it's very smooth, has no bugs, and it's one of the best GSIs I've ever tested with the customizers features being off the charts. Again, this only has the standard customization features, not so many. Uh, you can also take a screenshot in the recent, but guys, that sums up the video. So that's just a small update for you and uh, showing of the Ace of GSI. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!